remind the audience, no demonstrations, no displays of support or opposition, please. Rabbi. Good evening. I'm Rabbi Howard Tillman at 3662 Crown Point Road. And like many of the speakers earlier this evening, I'm one of the 200 faith, over 200 faith leaders in Jacksonville who are in support of passing this human rights ordinance. It's funny, though, in that I came in and have my Jacksonville Coalition for Equality sticker on, but I actually kind of want one of those religious liberty stickers as well, because currently my own religious liberties and my own religious freedom is not being, res being respected in this city. Because it is my religion and it is my faith in the Bible where all our source of wisdom comes from, where all our insight comes from, it is my faith that teaches that you shall love your neighbor as yourself, that you should treat each and every person with the inherent human dignity, <coughs> dignity that they deserve. And right now in this city, the freedom to believe that is not there. Likewise, I believe in the teaching of Psalms where it says, the Lord is good to all and God's mercy is upon all his works. That God treats each person with dignity, with respect. That God would refuse to discriminate against anyone, regardless of their race, regardless of their religion, regardless of their orientation, regardless of their gender. And that, too, is a view that's not respected currently in this city. And finally, the teaching of B'Tselem Elohim, that we are all created in the image of God, with those divine sparks, that every person, as I said, no matter what they believe, no matter what they think, no matter the color of their skin and the gender they identify with, no matter their age, every single person has the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that we have heard quoted earlier this evening from our own Declaration of Independence. We see our works from our own foundational documents as a country. We see these lessons, these values coming our foundational religious texts, and here we are debating them which still baffles me that this debate can go on and on all hours into the night. I understand that there may be some here, maybe many here, who do disagree with my interpretations of the Bible, with the way I see these texts playing out, and I can understand that. But what I cannot understand is how you can interpret the words of the Bible to mean that you have the right to discriminate, to mean that you can allow anyone to live with less than human dignity. And currently, in the city of Jacksonville, without this human rights ordinance passed, that is the reality that we face. So I ask you, members of the council, to please vote yes on the human rights ordinance so that I can have my own religious freedom as well as the human rights of the countless people in the city. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Tillman. Stephen Barry.